All right, Padres pregame thoughts, Padres and the Reds today. The series finale, a little bit after 10.30 is going to be the first pitch, same like yesterday. But today, it's different circumstances. Yesterday, the Padres, they had an actual starting pitcher on the mound. They had Michael Waka start yesterday. Uh, but today, they have Adrian Morahone. So it's going to be a bullpen day. And I'm a little concerned about today because we know that the bullpen has not been good. I was reading an article this morning, and I think it talked about the, the bullpen ERA for the Padres since mid-June is like over five. So yeah, that's one of the worst in baseball. It has not been good as of late. And Morahone, looking at his game logs, it's not like in the minors when he was coming back, he was going three, four innings. This is going to be an opener. I would not expect him to go very long. Maybe two innings today. So after that, who's going to come fill in after that. Luis Garcia, maybe he has to pitch today, but he threw 26 pitches yesterday. Hopefully, we don't even have to see him. Pedro Avila will probably pitch today, I would imagine. I, I thought that he was going to start today's game with Darvish not being able to start. Uh, that was kind of the word from at least Kevin Acey. Um, he threw that possibility out there when that Darvish news happened. Uh, I think that was yesterday. So he will pitch. He'll probably pitch multiple innings. So let's say Morahone goes a couple. Pedro Avila recently called up. He can go a few, maybe. You can get, you know, work him into the fifth inning. And then after that, you know, Honeywell's gone two days in a row, so he's not going to go. So then you use Cosgrove, Hill, Martinez, and Hayter. Martinez and Hayter, they have not pitched uh, since the first game of the series, which was obviously on Friday. Maybe Martinez goes multiple innings. Hayter is not going to do that, though, obviously. He told Kevin Acey, I think it was yesterday, but in the Padres Daily Newsletter that Kevin put out this morning, he told Kevin, yeah, um, I'm, his mind is on like being healthy for the full season, so he's just not comfortable going more than an inning right now. That's just the way it is, and so I don't want to hear people complaining about it. Well, I mean, I guess you can complain about it because, of course, we want this guy to be able to go multiple innings, especially in a situation like Friday, when he went like 10 days, it was the first time he was pitching in like 10 days. So yeah, maybe go a couple innings, but someone sitting in my position who pays attention to what these players are saying on a daily basis and knows the situation, like I'm not going to get too disappointed about it because I know that he's not going to go more than an inning. And later in the year, if he goes more than an inning, it's probably not going to be two innings very much. It might be inning and a third, right? Uh, maybe try to get the four out save based on a matchup in the last out of the eighth inning. It's just not going to be very long like some fans want it to be. So that's the bullpen situation for today. Again, more home starting. I'd expect Avila to come in after him, definitely come in at some point today. And it's going to be up to the offense because I don't see this Padres bullpen, you know, pitching a shutout today for sure. Um, Kim is leading off. Tatis, he is in right field. By, my, by the way, before I go through the rest of this lineup, underdog fantasy pick for today for me, it's going to be Hassan Kim higher than 0.5 singles. I think he can get a hit today at the top of that order. Uh, so Tatis hitting second. He's in right field. Soto's in left. Manny's at third. Bogart's at short. Gary is catching uh, after an Ola cut yesterday. So he's hitting six. Crony's at first base batting seventh. And then Nelson Cruz who is doing much better as of late. He is DHing batting eighth, and then Grish, he is obviously batting ninth. And in center field, I'll have a post-game reaction after the game, and then I'll have a show after the game. There's a lot to talk about. Obviously, a reaction from this whole Padres Red series, but also Peter Seidler talked to Kevin Acey yesterday during the Padres Reds game, during the Padres' great win, offensive performance there late. Uh, and he had some complimentary things, uh, to say the least, about A.J. Preller. So I definitely have some thoughts on that. I'm sure you guys do as well. So turn on those notifications on this channel so you don't miss when I go live and you can be a part of the show. So I'll see you then.